everyone, this is Jay from The Crazy Life of Jay. I did a video a few weeks ago, or a few days ago maybe, of an unboxing video of my new Organized Mom diary inserts. And since I've put those in my personal Malden, I've done quite a setup change. So I think my last um, video on my setup was done earlier this year. So I wanted to kind of do a quick little update on how a few things have changed, which may or may not be useful for some other people. Uh, so as always, here's the Crimson Malden. I feel like I should stop just showing the overview shot because this has been my binder for over two and a half years now. Um, but it's it's as fat as always and working better for me than it has in a very long time. So I'm just going to do a quick run through of what it's looking like. And um, if there's any questions, of course, always feel free to throw those in the comments. Um, so the front hasn't changed much. It is still my planner and wallet in one, which I did a separate video and blog post on that. Um, Coins in a zip pocket, cash, cards behind. This hasn't changed too much, still one of my favorite wedding photos. And then behind that, I have just a little memorabilia pocket. I have some like photo strips from a friend's wedding. I have currency from Costa Rica from our honeymoon, a couple fortune cookie fortunes. And then um, kind of my little portable emergency envelope, I call this. It's got some paper clips in it and a band-aid, things like that. Um, I don't tend to carry too much in here because if I'm going anywhere for an extended period of time, like going to work for the day, things like that, usually I have this in my bag. And this is just one of those, everybody was talking about these a few months ago. It's one of those like $3 on Amazon. Um, I think it's called a passport wallet, but instead I use it very similar to the way a lot of other people use it where I just keep post-its and pens and my Filofax punch and sticky flags and all kinds of stuff in here. And it's nice because it zips around. Um, really easy to just throw in a bag and not worry about things falling out. But on times that I don't feel like carrying that around because it is a little bit bigger, I always keep a few post-it notes and you'll see later on I have a couple um, sticky notes stuck to it or I keep paper clips here and I keep sticky notes a little bit further back in case I don't feel like carrying that big old thing around with me. And then behind that I just have some stickers. I have the, I'm almost out, but I have the general Filofax stickers. And then I also have some little star shape, shape stickers that I use for different things. Um, forgive my voice, I'm getting over a cold, so that's probably why I sound extra squeaky. And then this is just a fly leaf that I have. A, um, I got this one from Staples. I think it was $1.99, a little pen loop to hold an extra pen um, because I always need some sort of a pen or another in addition to my everyday pen. This was a friction. Um, I would do most of my you know, far in advance planning with a friction so that I could go back and erase it and change it. With my new system, I found that I do need to carry a highlighter with me everywhere. So what I've been doing is any appointments that are either temporary or I'm not confirmed on, I just take one of these little stickies and write it on and stick it in. And then I can always pull that off and change it up if I need to, um, because I found that I need a highlighter with this system more than I need the friction pen. So that's there. Um, this I talked about a little bit more in my other video, so I'm not going to flip through the whole thing, but this is my four different um, business card and credit card holders that hold all of my store rewards cards, my extra credit cards that I don't use as often that don't need to stay in the front, and um, a couple business cards from Salon, Stylist, things like that. And then behind here is the top opening envelope with any coupons that I have. So if I get a coupon, I put it in here. Um, as you can see, I still have not gotten my post-it note back on here. Usually there's a post-it note on the front that has the coupon, what it's for, um, the store, and then the expiration date. And there goes my dog. And then behind that, I just have, I think I got these at Staples as well. I'm a huge Staples person. Um, I'm not sure if it's day runner or day timer, but they're just little two-sided envelopes. I've been using these a lot. I think that they're great, especially for things like receipts. So if I purchase something that... I'm not sure if I'm going to like, I might need to return. Um, I throw it in here for just a couple weeks and then when I do a review, I kind of go through and pull out what I don't need. Um, this section is a new one. I did implement the capture section that a lot of people use. I found that I wasn't writing things down um, it, directly on my planner pages. I think because I am moderately OCD, so I was worried about messing things up with notes that you know might not need to stay there might not be important um, so i decided to implement this capture section and all it is is a section with a few sheets of note note paper it's not a lot and i literally can flip right to this tab jot down whatever's on my mind at any given moment 
and then go back through and process that information and see where within the binder it needs to go. Um, so you can see behind here, for example, right now, I'm trying out a zone cleaning system. So I just like threw down notes, didn't have to worry about scratching things out, crossing things off, messing things up. You know, it's supposed to be messy because once I get this system down on a different piece of paper, this gets torn out and thrown away and I don't care. Um, same thing with a grocery list. I jotted, threw down a grocery list, didn't have to worry about whether it looked nice, whether I had it at the right day, the right weekly checklist, I just tossed it in. So that's kind of what's going in this section and behind here I just have to-do list, plain paper, note paper, whatever I can just, you know, do as kind of a brain dump, mind mapping, throw things down type of system. And then behind that is my diary. Um, this has changed because I am using the Organize Mum inserts. So I have the year at a glance. Um, you can ignore that. That's the page. The year at a glance in the Organize Mum system connects directly to the start of the weekly pages. So that's a bit of a downside because you do have to keep it all together. Um, but obviously I didn't need a December 2012, January 2013. So I'm just kind of ignoring that this is even here. And then I have my birthday and anniversary sheets. I use these... Uh, really religiously for family and friends things like that I always keep a page marker at the current month so it's really easy to flip back and see okay who, you know who do we have that has birthdays and anniversaries around this time so I don't miss cards and things like that um, this section's quite a mess because as you might remember I started the month out or the year out using my own created monthly inserts um, so those are here and I created those to have a index on the front of the month and a work and personal to-do list on the back. So these were able to be interwoven with my, uh, at that time, daily pages. Well, the new organized mom inserts don't work that way. They have, it literally goes from October to glance into the things to do in October, straight into the November. So you can't really interweave them. So this system will change yet again for next year. Um, but for now, it's working. So I have all my monthly pages before my weekly pages. And as you can see, those have changed as well. Um, I'm using the organized mom pages. So I have my five categories. Since I don't have kids, I use the different sections for different categories or aspects of life. I have etc., which is just kind of a general dumping ground for tasks that must be done on a specific day. Um, I track my tips at work right now. I'm currently waitressing. So I track that. Right now I'm doing a countdown for when my husband comes back home because he's been out of town for a week. Uh, I also do a gratitude list and also I track dinner and what I've made and what I've eaten every night. And then on the other side is my schedule, my husband's schedule, the weekly to-do list, and then what's coming up next week so that I don't have to flip through weeks to see what's coming up next. I already know that, for example, I have my day off of next week is Thursday. Um, and then the reason I'm carrying the highlighter now is because I feel like it looks a lot less messy to um, tick off my to-dos with a highlighter instead of scratching them out with a pen. Since I'm not color coding, um, this system is really nice and compartmentalized for me, so I don't necessarily find the need to use a whole bunch of different colors, but I find that the highlighter at least um, keeps it very clean and simple looking, and then I'm still tracking my weather down the side. Um, I keep an extra fly leaf, so I have a today marker and I have an extra fly leaf because what I found is I'll write my weekly tasks in, and anything that must be done on a specific day goes on that day. But what I've been doing is just taking a post-it note. This has been a really good way to get rid of a lot of my post-it note supply. And usually, typically every morning when I wake up, this time I did it for two days in a row, but typically every morning I'll just stick a post-it on this flyleaf, pick off to-dos for that from that week, and then take any specific for that day to-dos and jot them all down on a list. Um, sometimes what I'll even do is order them. So I'll do, you know, okay, you know, that dog needs a bath. That needs to be number one. You know, the organizing the office can be number two, et cetera. And then at the end of the day, when all this is done, I just tear this off and throw it away. So that's been kind of how I've balancing only having this, this things to do this whole entire week is every morning. I just kind of pick the things off that I know can be done that day. Um, the other biggest change in my system is my, in my et cetera section, before, this was just kind of, I'd have a top tab that said blog. I'd have a top tab that said something else. And it worked, but it really wasn't functioning too well. Um, however, I'm participating in this Bugs Live file effects project. And in that system, in the A5 Sienna I received, I decided to do the kind of file cabinet system um, in that A5. And it has been working so well for me that I decided to roll it over into my personal system. So I've had these A through Z tabs lying around forever. Um, so inside my etc section, this is all 
that is in here. But for example, if you go behind H, I've pinned in a hairstylist card. I also have H is our home. So I have the different things for our home that we want to do. Um, so each, you know, anything just gets filed in because my brain works in a way that I can remember, okay, hair appointment, that's going to be an H. I need to find the card there. I have um, anything to do with job hunting is under J, et cetera, et cetera. And it just keeps it organized without having 10 bajillion tabs. Um, so it's been really, really functional for me. And I really, really like it a lot. And then at, it makes it a little bit fatter, but you know, I like myself a fat binder. And then after that, I'm not really going to go into this section because this is the me section. Um, in here, I have the file facts, personal registration sheets. I have insurance cards. I keep a list of all of my doctor's appointments, um, just general, annual, dental, um, vision, all of that. Just keep a little jot note of the appointment, when it was, anything that was mentioned in specific, etc. And then I also keep a list of, you know, any symptoms I'm having. If I have a cough, when did it start? Et cetera, et cetera. Um, because I used to find I'd go to the doctor and say, oh, this has been going on. And they'd say, oh, well, how long? And I'm like, uh, I don't know. So anytime anything different starts happening, I just um, jot it down just so that I have a record of it. And then I don't have to flip all the way back through my weekly pages to find it. I can just go right into this me section, which is mostly a medical section. And then last but not least, this I actually hijacked from an old Franklin Covey 365 binder I had. It's a really thick, I don't know if that'll show in the video, and a really nice thick, um, I think they call these the page lifters. So it is a little bit wider than the Filofax pages, but for some reason in the back of the binder, it works really well. I tried it in the front too, and it was kind of slamming up against everything, but it works really well in the back of the binder to prevent these pages from kind of like wrapping back around the rings, especially when the binder's closed. Um, so it kind of creates this nice flat, even surface when the binder is open and closed, which I really like. Um, and then in the back, same thing, kind of when I don't feel like carrying that big old um, travel case around, I just have a couple of the Martha Stewart Dew Drops. Um, I have a few stamps I think you can see, and then I have my Market Dots, which I'm not using as much now that I have this new system, but I still use them every once in a while. So I keep those just, um, you know, stuffed back into this back pocket. And then my Pen Loop just has one of my all-time favorite um, Pigma Sakura Micron 01 pens. These are 0.25 millimeter nibs, so they're nice and tiny and fit really, really well um, with those the smaller organized mum boxes. So that is about it. There's definitely been a few changes, um, mainly the changes to my capture section, which is brand new, and then the ETC section, um, the etc. section with that new filing cabinet system. But other than that, it's uh, still the Crimson Malden. I think it always will be. Still nice and fat and uh, still my external brain. So it's rainy here in Kentucky, but hopefully you guys are all having nice sunny days wherever you are in the world. And as always, thanks for watching.